fox squirrel. see on the side of the road sometimes and they wiped out all that forest to build big neighborhoods and haven't seen it since but uh, it's nice to see these guys out here they're neat they're a neat mammal I like them well anyway I got a lot to do today so uh, let's keep moving remember from a few weeks ago I posted a video about why it is that I get so dirty out here and uh, this is actually the aftermath of the reason why this was from a prescribed burn now uh, just a day later after I filmed that they actually started a prescribed burn in this forest now this is just a few weeks old as you can see all the palmetto scrubs are all growing right back uh, it's real beneficial for the environment it cuts down on the uh, chances of wildfires from lightning strikes uh, it also opens up pine cones and releases seeds. It just clears out all the underbrush so it's, you know, less prone to wildfires. And as you can see, everything is growing back and it's really, really beneficial. Even this tree here has got new buds on it. I can see them. So, yeah, this is neat. Yeah, it, it, it's a totally different environment. It looks like a wasteland almost, but it's not. It's actually, it's actually very fertile and it's growing back like crazy. All these pine trees, they're, they may be scorched at the bottoms, but they are, uh, they are growing back really, really quickly, and uh, they'll grow back nice and strong. All this underbrush, all that will grow right back. It's no problem. But uh, you can see there's really neat things out of these prescribed burns because it clears off all this stuff on the ground. You start finding cool things like, uh, like old bones and who knows what else you could find in here. Uh, you know, when people come back through here and possibly lose stuff or hunting or things like that. And when they do these prescribed burns, they come along and they remove wildlife uh, as, as, it, as it moves along. Like over there, there's a gopher uh, tortoise uh, hole. Well, they watch those things and they know where they are. And they come, when they come in and do all this, they make sure that the, the wildlife is protected. They come and move the snakes and things like that. So, but uh, yeah, anyway, I got a long way to go. So let's go ahead and just keep moving. Check this out. This here is a hunk of styrofoam that I found with a bunch of circuit boards and wires sticking out of it. So I started checking it out and I read that this was a harmless weather instrument. It says so on the back there. This is a radio sonde, a balloon borne instrument used to obtain high altitude weather data. It not it is not dangerous and some of the some of the label is gone so I can't read all of it. it is not dangerous and is of further and is of probably no further use there is no need to return this product please dispose of this item in an environmentally safe manner okay well out here is not really an environmentally safe manner however that's not that's not what uh, excited me about it what excited me about it is that there's a little wood scorpion in here. Uh, excuse me, a bark scorpion. So when I discovered that it was a scorpion, he crawled around and down inside to where this circuit board right here is. So I'm gonna open it up and see if we can get a good look at him. So here's a little battery pack. Who knows what this thing is full of? Up oh, there. See that tail? You see the tail? I don't know where he went. I don't want to get hit by this guy. Let's 
scared me. Ha! He definitely crawled on my hand. So let's see if I can find this guy here in the litter here. He was cool. He's a nice, good size one too. Of course, I went into panic mode and bleh, found him. I know, check it out. Ooh, look at there. That there is a bark scorpion. Now I didn't want to get hit by this guy, so that's why I flicked him off my hand the second I felt him. But uh, I'm gonna let this guy go. But uh, they got him out here. You don't see these guys very often. You really gotta look for them. It's really neat. If it wasn't so bright out, you could use a flashlight similar to this. It's a UV. And when you shine it on scorpions, they will glow green. But there's too much light out here, so you're not going to be able to see it. But, uh. That's really neat. <laughs> that stinger there. Well, I guess I'll just let this little guy go somewhere. that little spider there. <laughs> okay. We got two critters going on here. Check it out. So, apparently you can eat these guys, but uh, I'm going to let them go. It's not really, really, uh, Spider on the scorpion. We got two arachnids in one go. Alright, let me let this guy go. Whew, that was pretty fun. Cool. Maybe we'll find some more of those. But, uh, yeah, I forgot I had these in my bag, and that's the exact reason why I put them in there. So, awesome. Cool. Hey, check this out. What do you think that is? What do you think that is? If you'd say poison ivy, you'd be incorrect. This is Virginia creeper, okay? It looks very, very similar. Or right, this is a toxic plant, but it's not like poison ivy. All right, let me show you poison ivy. And it is literally growing on the same tree. See those leaves there? Let me grab a, a stick or something. Okay. There we go. You can see the leaves of three 
there, this is poison ivy. And when you line them up together like this, they do look very similar. See, there's Virginia creeper. There's poison ivy. So yeah, They're pretty uh, pretty similar looking plant, but uh, completely different properties. Well, we'll just leave these guys alone. <laughs> Y'all have got to see this snag. Right here, all these branches here. Big branch right there. Ain't nothing from where, where it came from. Check this out. Look at this oak. Look at it. Look at it. That thing is huge. That big branch overhanging right there. Let's go up next to it and see. Uh, try to get a bit of scale here. This thing is a monster. Look at that. Man, I'm amazed. This tree was something else when it was alive, that's for sure. These branches just fell right off, buried themselves into the ground. Incredible. I can't even, I can't even begin to describe how monstrous this tree is. Look. I don't like hanging out underneath that and any of that giant pieces of wood. I don't like hanging out underneath of it. At any given point, some of that bark could fall right off. Ugh. Let's see. That's something else. Look at that. All the way up. Monster branches that fell out of it. The thing I always heard about live oak, they tend to rot from the inside out. You can see how hollow that is. This is one of its branches right here. That thing's huge. Wow. I love these old snags, they're, they're just amazing. Very ancient tree, that thing must be a thousand years old. This is incredible. This is what old Florida used to look like. It's a thick, thick old growth of oaks and palm trees that go all the way up to the top. Surrounded by ferns everywhere. This place is really, really cool. I'm gonna find a place to stop for a minute have some sandwiches and stuff. So I still gotta find my way out of here. Went ahead and got myself lost on purpose. It's not too difficult though. I mean, if I head, you know, south, the sun is in front of me, so that's west. If I head south, I'm gonna hit that creek. And when I do, I can just hang a right and it'll take me up to the trailhead. Actually, it's not the trailhead, excuse me. It's the trail, but, um, but I know that the trail runs you know, north and south, so if I keep heading west through there, I will, I will eventually come across it. But um, even if I don't, I still know my way back. Um, I got, you know, obviously I got GPS and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, headlamps. I'm not really worried about it. Getting lost on purpose is what I do. Hey everybody, I want to direct your attention to my Patreon account. With your donation through Patreon, you help support Jungle J Adventures provide better content in more exotic locations. So go on over and check it out. Donate $5 today 
and I'll send you a cool Jungle J logo or a Monster Skeeter decal free. And like always, thanks for watching. Take care.